So, have we heard about the uh, <clears throat> the young black teen that was shot by a white man after he apparently rang the wrong doorbell? A white 84-year-old homeowner was charged with shooting Ralph Yarl after the black teen went to the wrong Kansas City address to pick up his siblings, told police. They didn't exchange words before he fired at him through a locked glass door and that he did so because he thought the teen was trying to break in. Homeowner Andrew Lester, who faces the first degree, um hang on no we're gonna block that uh for assault in the first degree an armed criminal action the fuck does that mean told police he fired immediately after answering the doorbell when he saw 16 year old ralph pulling on an exterior door handle According to the probable cause document obtained by CNN, Lester said he was scared to death. He was scared to death due to the boy's size and blackness, according to the document. I mean, I just added the, to the, the blackness part, but I'm sure that was probably in there. They're just leaving that part out. Um <clears throat> April 13th shooting, which left the teenage boy with gunshot wounds to his head and arm. Ralph told police while he was hospitalized that he did not pull on the door, according to the document. It was nothing short of a miracle that Ralph was discharged from the hospital, but he's not out of the woods yet, his attorney Ben Crump told CNN on Monday. The shooting of an unarmed black teenager captured national attention as it drew outrage online and fueled protests in Kansas City. Protesters have marched through the city chanting justice for Ralph and calling for the shooter's arrest. Uh, what do we think about this, y'all? Um, first of all, Shout out to the young man that was shot. Shout out to his family and loved ones. Um, we wish him a speedy recovery. Um, why was this man not arrested or charged with attempted murder and all this type of stuff? Um, I'm sure that's the, the questions that need to be asked, should be asked, that they want us to ask. Huh? Um, and I feel like that they also want us to be outraged by the fact that he hasn't been, you know, arrested and all of this type of stuff. Um, this sounds like one of those type of manipulations. Again, we were just talking about manipulation. Sounds like a manipulation to me, people. Um, Yeah. I mean, what, what would have happened? I guess we know what would happen. Yeah. What would have happened if a white person knocked on a black man's door and he just shot him with no words through the door? What do we think he would be charged with? Would he be given the benefit of the doubt? I seriously doubt it. You know, it's funny. I was just, you know, I was watching the first 48 and I'm watching an episode where they basically had like a white serial killer who was like running over um, homeless people with his truck, right? So when they finally catch up with this nigga, fucking one of the first things they ask him, which I've never seen them ask people on the show, was like, are you mentally competent to like, answer questions type of shit like like they were almost trying to give him an out 
on some mental shit. It was crazy. Like I never heard. Out of all the episodes I watched and they interrogating black people, they never give them the any kind of, you know, are you sure you can even answer these questions? Like blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I just, I just bring that up because it's never going to be, um, it's never going to be any kind of equality. The justice system. Ahmad Sutton, Jamal, sometimes I think they want us to tear this motherfucker up. They do want us to tear this motherfucker up so that they can go in and fucking start with martial law. They can put people into camps. First of all, when you tear up the cities and shit like that and tear up the infrastructure, people won't have nowhere to go. So now they're going to have some place for you. They call FEMA camps. Okay. So now when you burn down these cities and burn down your own your own homes and shit like that, and this is now going to lead me to this what's going on in Chicago, but when you start doing all of this, um, combined with them, you know, poisoning whole areas with with chemical, you know, smoke from derailed trains and groundwater getting... Uh, polluted and all of that type of shit. They're going to try to start relocating people to so-called smart cities um, where they can really put their control game down. Um, we have to just see what it is. Like right now, they got all this shit supposedly in Chicago. Um I saw a video where, you know, apparently they were looting all crazy in the supermarkets and all this type of shit, I guess Walmart or something like that. And, um, you know, they're using it to make the black youth look like savages. You know what I mean? And so now whatever got those kids wilding out doing that, right? They're going to use that as an excuse to just criminalize the youth, send in the National Guard and all this type of shit to, you know, restore order and all that type of shit, create martial law or, or curfews and, you know what I mean? Y'all gotta, like, do the knowledge before you do the wisdom. That means you have to think before you act and stop acting before you think and allowing people to manipulate us so easily. But again, this is why they want us to eat the wrong foods. This is why they want us to vibrate on a wrong frequency so we can be manipulated. So we can be more easily manipulated. That's why they want you to have a uh, fluoride in your toothpaste. They want you to have aluminum in your deodorant. Um, all these little things that they're trying to do to attack you, you know? And so I now, so now you have to do little things to free yourself. I don't, I, my toothpaste is fluoride free. My, uh, <clears throat> my, um, deodorant is aluminum free. I have a, I have something around my neck that, you know, is supposed to protect from EMF radiation and all of that type of shit. Um, yeah, you got to protect yourself, yo. There's a lot of bullshit out here, especially in the food. Um, what do you say, John Lee? John Lee said, I noticed how Trump was indicted on the anniversary of MLK's assassination. No one talked about it. It's almost as if people forgot shaking my head. I still wore my MLK shirt as a reminder. <laughs> okay, John. I'm almost curious how old you are, John. Because yes, you said it. it's almost as if people forgot. Oh no, people forgot. <laughs> Not a lot of people are holding uh, MLK 
in the same esteem as they used to hold him um back in your generation sir said i need one of those ah maybe i'll put up the link maybe i will put up a link for it he said i'm 42 okay shit you younger than me but i guess your people's you know really taught you and indoctrinated the uh whole you know a respect for martin luther king which is good you know what i mean like we need to have respect for um our black leaders whether we agree or disagree you know still got to respect um I think I said this a little while ago. My dog's name is Anubis. Thanks for asking. Um, so anyway, back to this guy getting shot with no words. Yes, it's tragic and all that, but I wouldn't allow it to manipulate me. I won't allow that and be like, oh, see, fuck that, man. It's time to wow out. Like, you know, they're just shooting us through doors now. And see, it's funny, right? White men shoot us through doors. Yet here we are trying to disarm ourselves. Like we, we out here advocating uh, gun control. First of all, in all the places where most of the gun control for black people um, is the strictest is where the most gun violence happens. So what the fuck is this? What is that gun control even doing? What is all that these gun laws even doing? But again, they keep using y'all. They keep fucking desensitizing y'all with shootings every other week and you know <clears throat> we need guns <laughs> okay we need to be able to protect ourselves from a tyrannical government just in case and we can't use all this fucking bullshit that they're trying to throw at us as a reason to act like, oh, like black people are not even responsible enough. Or, you know, like, stop it. We got people that act like we're not even smart enough to have these guns. But white people are? That's what you're saying? Like, come on, man. Cut the fucking bullshit. And, um, Stop allowing yourself to be manipulated. Anyway, speedy recovery to uh, Ralph Yarl. <laughs>